and the person who finds it difficult to offer salah or who, who offers salah in a lazy manner then is no longer a believer. He turns out as a hypocrite in the sight of Allah. We will be going through this verse in Surah An-Nisa, inshallah, very soon, where Allah says, Allah says, is highlighting the properties and the behaviors of the hypocrites, the munafiqeen in Medina. And Allah says, وَإِذَا قَامُوا إِلَى الصَّلَاةِ قَامُوا كُسَالَ That when they get up, when they straight up for offering salah, they come very lazily. لَا يَذْقَرُونَ اللَّهَ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا That they don't mention, they don't remember Allah a lot during their salah. So a person who is not remembering Allah, who's thinking about so many things around himself in the world, and who is feeling it or finding it hard, finding it difficult to offer salah, and comes lazily towards salah, is whom he is a hypocrite in the sight of Allah. Similarly, Hazrat Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu narrates in Bukhari and Muslim that Prophet sallallahu said, For a hypocrite, no prayer is more tiresome than the prayers of Fajr and Isha. And if they realize how magnanimous the reward of these two prayers is, they would come to attend even crawling on their knees. And then Prophet sallallahu said, I intend to order the proclaimer for prayer to proclaim and another man to lead the congregation and I myself with the flame of burning fire, with the flame of burning fire, burn the houses of all those who do not come to the mosque for prayer even after they have heard the proclamation or the azan. And in other words, in Muslim Prophet ﷺ had said that if I had not fared for the children, for the women, or for the sick people, I would have burned their houses. So this is the importance of salah. And this is the importance of congregational salah for men.